Time moves slower the faster you go. And that's not science fiction. It's Einstein's theory of relativity. Astronauts have literally experienced it. Take Sergei Krikalev. He spent 803 days in space traveling around 7.7 .7 kilometers per second, and he aged about 20 milliseconds less than everyone on Earth. That means he's technically living in the future. But let's crank it up. What if you wanted to slow down time by more than a few milliseconds? To lose one second over a one-year trip, you'd need to move at 75 kilometers per second. That's three times faster than Earth orbits the sun. For one minute, fly at 585 kilometers per second. After one Earth year, you'd be a full minute younger. To be one hour younger, you'd cruise at 4,500 kilometers per second, and you'd need to keep that up for a year straight. For a one day difference, you're at 22,000 kilometers per second. A week slower, 58,000 kilometers per second. A month behind Earth's time, you'd have to travel a whole year at 120,000 kilometers per second. That's 40% the speed of light. And if you wanted to be one year younger after one Earth year, you'd need to hit light speed itself, which is impossible for anything with mass. So yeah, time travel is real, but only forward in time. The faster you move, the slower you age. Astronauts are literally our first real life time travelers. Makes you wonder, if you could travel so fast that one year for you equals 100 years on Earth, would you do it? 